Alright, so I'm firing up the UDK right now, and it comes up to be like a level like this. I would highly suggest you hit real time off. Okay. We're going to import that package into this, and we can hit content browser. Down below, there's a little button. I got to hit this to get to it. Import, and I'm going to be importing those assets I made earlier. So here is my fence package, and I'll just import this one, this one, this one, and this one. And this was going to be called zero one fence. That's way anytime I need a fence, I know where to go to. Zero one just puts it in alphanumeric and it floats to the top of the packages. Also, this has an alpha. This is my texture. And that's why I put text there so I can know what's coming in. I want to create a material and use mat blend mast because it has an alpha. It's probably going to be another material next. Yep, so I'm going to keep with the same. And then there's going to be two meshes. That one. And that one. Yep. There we go. Now I'm just going to do a file save all because this new build of the UDK is just by far the most schizophrenic thing I've ever seen. So here, UDK game go to maps and let's go to content and we'll make a new folder in here I already got one called classwork and I'll put zero one fence in here it'll save all this stuff in there and that way if it crashes we're not so far behind alright now wish me luck I, I tell you this is schizophrenic because it's crashed a few times so we'll see. Here's my material. Double click on that. And hold control to move this little node around. This is my RGB. So here's a composite. Here's the alpha. So that's what these represent. So combined color, alpha. The alpha is going to go to opacity mask. Okay. And down below this, I have some property values. I'm going to go to material and turn on two-sided material. Okay, and you can see this is what it looks like. And then I'll close that out. And then I'll close this out. Uh, next we have this material. So right now you can't see through the ball. Here I'm just going to put it all passy mask. Now I can see through it. And you can see what happens when I don't have two-sided on. Right here you can't see anything. If I turn on two-sided, that's what it looks like. Okay, close that one out. Alright, next, what we're going to do is attach those maps to the actual mesh. So here's my corner piece. Under LOD info, I have two little nodes, material one, material two. This is because in Maya, I had them separated via material. If you remember right, based upon the series, I had a material here and I had a material for the poles and the top. So that's what that is. Okay, now which one's which? No idea. So we're just going to pop one in and then pray it's that one. That's not the one. So this one goes to this one. Good. And then I drop this one down. That means this one would go to this one. And I'll kind of pay attention to that because it's going to be about the same thing. So this material is going to go in the bottom slot. And then I'll close this out. Okay, next. Go to this one. Material this one's going to go in the bottom slot and this one's going to go in the top slot also while I'm here I'm going to make some collisions so I'm just going to do for this one I'm going to do a six simplified collision 
and view that. So show collision, you'll see that I can't make it past this. This is my collision. Okay. Close that out. And I'll do that over here too. So this one needs a collision. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to auto convex it because it's at a right angle. And I'll hit apply. And that should work just fine for that. Close that up. Normally you want to spend some time doing those so they take up less memory, but I'm just going to do a save all. And here's the fun part. So we'll click on it, click in the game, right click, add static mesh fence corner. And then I'll do that with the other one. This one doesn't look right. It's missing something. So maybe it didn't take that material. I don't know. Let me add that other material in here. There we go. And I'll add straight fence. All right, and just for giggles, we'll just go in here and type in mail. That's going to search out throughout the system and find iron guard mail. And I'll go to skeletal meshes and I'll put the skeletal mesh in here. Right click on the floor, add skeletal mesh. And you'll see if I have it to scale or not corresponding to. So he's a six foot player. Should go maybe a foot over his head. That's about right. Or maybe seven foot. Now these are almost impossible to snap into position. So what you're going to have to do is go to view, drag grid, enable drag it off. And here's how you navigate by the way, sorry. Uh, left mouse allows you to run around, right mouse allows you to look around, and both of them combined allows you to float. So left, right, both. Isn't that awesome? Because there's not too much involved here. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and just kind of line these up. And some things are missing here. You can see that there are some bolts missing. And there is some things up here missing. See? Missing. So we're going to have to look at this in the next video to see what's missing. And why is that missing? Hmm, weird. But it's probably something like normals being flipped or something like that so no big deal it just has to be uh, fixed in Maya and it's really easy to get it back so we'll look at the problems and how to update it in the next video